Today in North Bay, there's a good chance of rain from about 5 p.m. until around 11 p.m. Come on! Alright guys, welcome to another one of these vlogs of mine. It's Saturday here. Uh, currently 11.41, I got up at 10. Been watching that Silicon Valley show. It's freaking awesome, I like it. And uh, just been chilling, drinking coffee, and I just went and had my first shake. I'm not gonna say the name of what was in it because people were getting upset. <laughs> but um, it starts with, uh, it rhymes with uh, Yokonda, or is it? What the hell was the place that they were at? Let's just say it rhymes with Uganda. Anyway guys, today I wanted to go for a bike ride, but with Google saying it's gonna rain, it's kind of deterring me. Also, I don't know what the hell's going on with this Fitbit, because it's accuracy while biking. Even my friend's Fitbit was, well hers was off, but it was only off by like a kilometer or two. Um, mine was literally off by almost a third. <laughs> so that's a bit of a complication here. All I care about is the fact that it's recording the calories burned. I don't really care about the distance and the fact that it maps out the route I take is pretty neat. <coughs> It'd be fun one of these days to do like a Pac-Man run where you pick like a neighborhood where it's just a bunch of roads that all intertwine and you go up and down each one of the roads and then up and down each one of the roads and you just totally hex grid the shit out of it so that you cover <laughs> every aspect of the area. Um, just to make that map look really stupid and maybe today could be that day I don't I don't know all I know is is um, I want to go out biking I was gonna go down to my friend's house like I did last Saturday and go out to calendar but she's not awake yet I don't know when she's gonna get up I don't know what time she went to bed at to be honest with you I was in bed last night guys midnight hit and I'm like oh man hurry up and render I'm just waiting for the vlog to finish rendering but because of the bike ride scene it took extra long because, you know, even though the video is only 30 minutes, it still had over an hour and 40 minutes of footage to comb through to clip together as a video. So it literally took my computer like 42 minutes to render that file to 1080p 60 FPS due to the mass amount of footage I had to comb through in the hyper timeline of it and all that shite. So I was like, come on, I'm like falling asleep at my desk going, I wonder if I'm, you know, if it doesn't go up at nine, if that'd be a problem or something, I was about ready to go pass out. And I'm like, no, no, gotta, gotta hang on there, gotta hang on, we gotta get that freaking video up, gotta do it. It's gotta go up for nine or earlier. But we pulled it off, and then I went to bed, probably around one, I don't even know what Fitbit says I slept last night, but I know I got a lot of good sleep, because I didn't wake up at all except for this morning when I had to rock a major piss. So I got seven hours and 26 minutes of sleep. Uh, looks like I passed out at around 1.49 and I was up at 10 a.m. And apparently I woke up a couple times in between, so that's fun. Check this out. This is one thing I do like about sleep, uh, Fitbit is the sleep thing. It shows you points where you were awake, so like right there at 1.49 a.m. I was awake. And then I fell into REM and then dove down to the light and then boom, right into deep because my body had to repair after bike riding. And then I went back into the light and then back down into the deep, back up into the light, back down into the deep. Back up in the light, up into the REM, back down to the light, and then I woke up at, it looks like 5.30 a.m., and that's a good chunk of time right there. And then the same thing happened here at 9, and then I was up at 10. And all those little red dots at the top, that means I woke up at some point. So they say that'll happen, like you'll wake up intermittently over the night 30 to 40 times, and it's not a big thing to concern yourself with. So I'm just not going to concern myself with it. Well, that's neat. I've never seen this feature before. Estimated oxygen variation. At some point in the night, I don't know where that is. If I click on it, nothing happens. I'd like to know what time that is because that looks like um, at some point in time I had a hard time breathing. Probably shoved my face into the pillow. Variation leads to brain estimated oxygen variation approximately it's changed in your blood oxygen. So this watch can read blood oxygen saturation. It just chooses not to. What a pile of crap. Yeah, it looks good here on Thursday to Friday. Went to bed at 12.24 a.m. and woke up at 7.26 a.m. And that looks good. Never had any spikes there. I didn't even know this was added in. I was under the influence that the oxygen sensor was disabled. And apparently now they're using it. But for of all things, sleep. You would think for a company who strives themselves on fitness, calling themselves Fitbit, would use the oxygen blood sensor 
when you're working out so you can see your VO max while you're working out. So you can know if you're on par, get more analytics while you're lifting or running or biking or doing anything aerobic or anabolic so that you have those metrics to work with. So you can see like, oh, I'm hitting fatigue. And then you look down at your watch and go, oh yeah, my VO max is getting annihilated. I better stop and take a breather or anything like that. Like it'd be great to have those analytics while you're actually performing versus snoring but now eh, whatever i don't run the company i just make fun of them all right guys i don't know i was gonna like i said i was gonna take a bike ride today out to uh my friend's house and that but it's looking pretty shitty out still want to go for a bike ride i want to burn some calories but uh let's chat with a buddy who's doing this crazy diet he's also one who's doing the uh the whole home gym he's been one that got kicked out of the gym when COVID-19 came into play, so he took my advice and he started investing because they stopped taking gym memberships, right? And they just basically put everybody's uh, gym membership on hold for the time being. So he's been on Kijiji buying shit, so he bought himself a, a waiter workout machine and some other stuff and some barbells and an easy curl bar and all that stuff. So he's been working out at home in his basement and he noticed that uh, because he doesn't have a treadmill and good luck finding one of those cheap on Kijiji right now. Holy crap, people know what they got. And they are asking a boatload for any cardio equipment like uh, shitty bikes at uh, Canadian Tire that were going for 300 bucks. People are selling them used and abused and they're asking close to like 600 bucks for a crappy bike with a computer that's about as accurate as a, uh, I don't know what's that inaccurate. We'll just go with that. But anyway, and they're selling them for like way too much. Like I showed you guys yesterday with that cap barbell system, somebody selling a three, uh, uh, $179 friggin' barbell system from Canadian Tire for 500 bucks because people are buying right now because people don't know when the gyms will be reopening and chances are it won't be until they get a vaccine for this son of a bitch i think gyms <clears throat> gyms will be one of the last things to reopen mainly because of worse than a movie theater movie theaters can be adjusted you know you can have one person for every second seat so you have somebody sitting in seat one somebody sitting in seat four somebody sitting in seat eight you know like you have two seats empty seats in between sorry seat seven not eight but so you uh, just keep two seats in between everybody empty and then you're able to accommodate for social distancing in the theaters problem with gyms is everybody's touching everything out of gym so there's no way to really prevent any nonsense so that's a bit of an issue so anyway my buddy started doing this diet the 1200 calorie a day diet where you simply focus on protein and you don't even worry all you you calculate is your calorie intake for protein at 1200 calories you can go over 1200 but try and keep it no higher than 1400 and that's all you do all day 1200 calories a day you can eat whatever you want if you didn't eat anything and you want to eat a bag of chips have at her but that bag of chips will have protein you got to hit your protein scores and the way your protein score is simple whatever you weigh in uh weight so like right now i'm 222 pounds i want to hit 222 grams of protein which means that's 888 calories just in protein alone, leaving me with 312 calories to use for carbs and fat. Now remember, fat's nine grams of uh, nine calories. One gram of fat is nine calories, one gram of carbs is four calories. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to hit the carbs so that you can have more, more substance. This is where filling up on vegetables and stuff comes in and rice, because rice is very filling, but it's not very caloric. So that's where my bodybuilder meals come in. Literally one of those meals is 357 calories, and I believe it's 38 grams of protein. I'm not 100% sure on that. Let me just go have a look-see. So yeah, my bodybuilder meals. 42 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, 5.3 grams of fiber, but only 3.4 grams of fat. So if you basically eat bodybuilder meals all day long, which are fine, I'm fine with that because they actually taste really good. I could do that all day long. It's just the cost of chicken is expensive. Um, you could literally have three of those and that there's 357 calories. So let's go ahead and I don't feel like mathing today. So 357 times four. So that's 1,428 if you had four. So you have three of those 
and that'll get you up to 120 grams of protein and then if you were to have just top off the rest of protein powder and you're gonna sit around 1300 1400 calories and you'll be at your protein oh i'll be at my protein score even if i decided to only have two of those and then top off the rest with protein and then have some snacks in between see the best part about this for me is i don't get hungry because i did keto for so long that my body's used to running off of its own stored fat even after reintroducing carbs it's not like your body reprograms itself it learns how to do what it has to do to survive which is why like i can go for a long time without eating but it's not good for muscle muscle growth now he's doing it because he wants to cut i'm not ready to cut yet so i'm not going to bother doing that just yet but when i find out we're going to be going back to the office i might do like a two to three week cut and burn off a bunch of fat and then get my body size back down and that way there i can go back into the office looking all lean and mean and actually show people that this freaking quarantine may have been a good thing just saying all right guys the initial plan was to bike down to my friend's house and go for a bike out to calendar again however that seems to be kiboshed she's not awake and i have no idea when she went to bed so chances are she probably won't be awake for a while so i'm just gonna do myself a solid and go for a rip on my own um i want to go out and burn some calories anyway because why not and i got an idea for a ride we're going to combine a couple rides we're going to go down uh that path that i took on tuesday wednesday whenever i went for my last bike ride we're going to go down to that path and then we're going to go across that bridge that we did last night down to the waterfront oh it's going to be an interesting ride guys let's uh i have no idea how long it's going to take nor do i really care for that matter as long as we don't get caught in a rainstorm because that will suck so let's get you guys saddled up on the bike let's hit the road yay yay and just as I was, I was about to jump on the bike and go I made it a little bit down the street and it started uh, spitting I do not want to be out biking in the rain especially with a camera that isn't waterproof to avoid any bullshit I guess today's biking activities have been cancelled due to weather. I don't know if it gets nicer later on, we'll do the ride. But maybe what I'll do now is body build. That sounds more more my style to burn some calories anyway. I'll do some weight lifting. Son of a bitch. I was really looking forward to that ride too. I had it all mapped out in my head. And it would have been a lot of fun. A lot of distance, a lot of range. A lot of good times. Man, son of a bitch. Oh, it is what it is. Friggin' weekend rain. At least we had a good ride yesterday. All right, well, frig it. Should have went earlier. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go left. Mother freaking chicken sandwich. Alrighty, so basically I spent 90 minutes in the gym just bodybuilding, working full body. And then I had a shower, and here we are with a mother friggin' chicken sandwich. Guys, this is actually chicken. <laughs> just, I took one of my chicken breasts and beat the living shit out of it with my tenderizing hammer threw it in the air fryer and decided to put it on a piece of bun and it's really freaking good all right guys i'm gonna head off to the muscle dummy store they're open till five today i want to get some more protein because that those two pound tubs of the diesel yeah they're not lasting they're only good for a week oh the mouse oh look at that cat i'm wet then oh she's all fluffy She's she's your dog Bobos. Oh dog dog Bobos. Who does mouse? You're so loud. She's like sitting outside the door while I was editing because I like to get caught up in my editing so I'm not like yesterday where I get home and it's like holy crap I got 128 hours of freaking video footage to deal with. Where the hell did I put my keys? Oh there they are. These aren't the right keys. Where the hell are the right keys? These are the Trans Am keys. Guys, I'm not going to drive the Trans Am until I can get a hold of a mechanic who can actually look at it because I don't trust that steering in the front end. It's pretty loose. I'd like to get that looked at. And I'm pretty sure the oil burning smell. My uh, buddy suggested something that's kind of valid. Because I let the car sit for so long and then last year took it out and took it for a rip and all that, the crank, um, crank seal? cam seal crank seal one of the seals anyway apparently when they sit too long they rot and 
after a while oil gets by them lands on the headers and well that's all she wrote i could watch a video on how to replace it and attempt it myself like i am no mechanic by any means necessary but after all what is a mechanic right somebody who spins wrenches but i don't have enough knowledge in that area to really jump on a project like that so i hate to do more damage to my car than already been done it hasn't rained out but you know that that smell you can smell the acid in the air from the acidic rain that's about to come down yeah you can really smell it but yeah the yeah uh, i'd like to get the car on a hoist get the front end examined because that loosey juicy suspension's probably tie rod maybe i don't know just the the fact that you turn the wheel and it's all over the place so oh anyway i'm gonna go to the muscle dummy shop pick up some protein and uh then we're gonna come back and figure something out all right let's go decided to come over to canadian tire figuring they'd be open so i can get some friggin screws to mount that whiteboard but jesus murphy closed well, i went to the muscle dummy shop and i got my stuff but everything else is closed like this covid 19 is really cocking over my program Oh, let's go home. And just as I get home, here comes the rain. Okay. So I have no idea how the hell I'm gonna find mounting. Oh, what did I do that? How I'm gonna have to find mounting hardware for that uh, freaking thing. I have to go digging in the garage some more. I know I have screws in there somewhere. I just don't know where the heck they are. Anyway, I bought some new protein powder, and I mentioned to them like about the diesel. I saw you know when I'm. Usually when I'm out of the protein powder here, if I'm in a pinch, I'll go to Walmart and buy diesel. And they explained to me that the diesel they sell is not the same as the diesel that I buy at Walmart. The explanation is pretty simple. See, diesel is one of these companies. See, they have two types of protein out there that you can buy. You have your concentrates and your isolates. Isolates are better. I shouldn't say they're better. They're just a better form for people like me who do have an intolerance to lactose. And the intolerance has gotten... Why don't you get away from my muscle dummy stuff? Freaking cat. Gotta investigate everything, eh? Did you buy me any cookies? Anyway, the, uh, the whey concentrates are basically more of a broken down... Like, the, it's, it's whey protein powder, but it contains other substances beyond the whey protein powder, which is where you get your carbs, your sugars, and all that other fun stuff. So it's a concentrated whey... But it's not as pure as an isolate. One key difference between a concentrate and an isolate, concentrates contain, well, they can contain GMOs, they can contain uh, sugars, they can contain uh, lactose. Actually, they will contain lactose, for sure. An isolate, however, is pure. Also, a uh, concentrate is about 64% protein, an isolate is 90% or above. So, last time I bought this stuff revolution vanilla cake high quality whey, pro whey protein formula 25 grams zero added sugar zero added trans fats so on so forth this is 140 calories per serving stuff i bought this time revolution vanilla cake same flavor 28 grams of protein from the 24 on the other one 130 calories only one gram was it can't even read that come on focus you slut so yeah one gram of carbs two grams of fat mainly it's all protein for the life of me i couldn't figure out why i was getting the protein farts the reason why people get the protein farts is some of these concentrates are also thickened with xanthan gum xanthan gum will give you gastral issues and make you fart like a friggin chain gun this is the reason why I was having issues is because this stuff here at Walmart that I thought was the same shit that they sell at um, Popeyes 24 grams of protein it's 120 calories per scoop one gram of fat four grams of carbs and 1.5 of that is sugar but this is not a whey isolate this is a whey concentrate and that's the reason why it's been making me bloaty and gassy that's cute they gave me a card of Popeye it says, we would like to say, stay healthy, be kind, shine bright like a diamond. Me. And it's got Popeye in there. Just crush slamming a friggin' thing of spinach. You know, for the longest time, when I used to watch Popeye, 
I never thought spinach was leaves. I literally thought it was green slime in a can. Like, did anybody else think that, or is it just me? Also, my buddy was, uh, my buddy Trevor, uh, he um, arm wrestles professionally. Actually, <laughs> not this year now, but last year he did. He went to the uh, WAL, WAL or WHA? I think it's just WAL, uh, in Ottawa. And he actually placed pretty good in the uh, the bottom eight. He uh, made it pretty far in the um, the tournament. But uh, we got to talk about pre-workouts and stuff. And he asked me what I've been using because he noticed on my last video that uh, my body composition changed a lot. And I said, oh, geez, man, I've just been using black coffee and creatine. And he's like, really? And like, he's like, black coffee and creatine? Doesn't doesn't that make black coffee taste even worse than black coffee already tastes? And I'm like, oh, yeah, but you get used to it, right? It's like anything. People who hate the taste of beer and if you drink it enough, you'll acquire a taste for anything. So now it's like the taste of black coffee and creatine does nothing for me. So he mentioned, he's like, well, if you want to get a real sick pump and creatine's not getting you there, because I noticed you've been messing around with these products like Volume and and um, C4 Explode and no, no Explode and all that. I'm like, yeah, I've been trying different things and not getting the result. He goes, the reason being is because you need to buy sit no, is it citrillion malate this stuff he's like dude it's cheap it's about the price of creatine it's like creatine it's 14 bucks for a tub this is like 19 bucks for a tub he goes add that it's unflavored no aroma no nothing just straight up he says it tastes like ass just like how creatine tastes when you mix it with water and you down the hatch he goes but if you can get it down and keep it down he goes you're gonna get such a sick pump on your workouts He's like, give it a try. You're going to love it. You're going to just love it. So while I was at the Muscle Dummy shop, I mentioned it. And they're like, oh, yeah, 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 we got that, we got that. And because the protein powder was so expensive, they threw in a free shirt. And it's not a mutant shirt. I don't even know what it is. Let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look. Free shirt. Yeah, air fryer and a tub of protein. That makes a good tripod. My dog just exploded. Just friggin' burped his face off. Alright, let's uh, crack into this shirt and see what we got. Get rid of the garbage. Get the garbage. Hmm, cute. It's blue. What is it even? Oh, it's Magnum. Oh, I like this company. I like this company. This is the uh, the company that makes heat. Um, they make uh, this volume. This is pretty good. Gives you more more boost when you're out bombing around and stuff. Yeah, I really like this company. That's pretty sweet. Oh, another muscle dummy shirt, boys. Now I got my mutant. And I got this one here. Oh, soon I'm going to have to change my channel to muscle dummy vlogs. It's coming down to it. <laughs> it's coming down to it. The way I see it, guys, I'm going to be in lockdown for the whole month of May. They've already told us how to work, and it could be going carrying on to June. My whole battle plan for this entire month is to lift get swole bike get lean and basically build the best damn body i can possibly build it's gonna be one hell of a fun time pitter patter and have at her well for once in the history of things being historic google got it right it's totally pissing out there lovely i already did my workout for today so i have no idea what the heck i'm gonna do tonight like no idea i think i know what i'm gonna do right now is rock piss i think what i'm gonna do is make a burger i'm a little hungry like we went for 90 freaking minutes today, boys. Starting to do that every day now. Well, not every day, but every other day for sure. I was thinking about going to Walmart tonight. Wait until about 7, seeing how it's pissing rain out. And it's going to be doing this till 11. Chances are there won't be much of a lineup. Because who the frig wants to stand outside in the pissing rain just to go in and buy toilet paper? And the whole reason to go to Walmart is I want to buy mounting hardware so I can mount that damn whiteboard. And maybe figure out how the Trans Am poster is mounted. I should do that right now. Uh, maybe I can move that over to the new location and go from there. That coffee table I had upstairs, I moved it right here just so I can put my shit on it for now. One day I'll buy that cork board with the holes in it and then we can set up some rings on the wall here and just hang the stuff off of it. But for now this works. So let's take this down. Literally a nail. Cool. Blurify. So if I move that nail over to there, if it wants to focus, there we go. 
then we're good to go. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see her over there. You can just see her big stupid football head kicking up. Look at her. She knows. You comfy? Want a cookie? Want some potato salad? Do you want some snuggles? So much fun just coming down here when the cat is so comfy on the chair and just annoy her. Yeah, you want me to leave you alone, but I'm not gonna because you're a cat and that's what you're meant for. Okay, I'll leave her alone. Um, so I have no other hanging points in this room. And to put that on that wall means I gotta get in there with a hammer and nail and bang a nail into the wall. Alright, well, freak. She gonna knock this over because she's a dick like that. Don't figure around. Uh, I wonder if I should pull that nail out of the wall and just move it. I need my hammer for that. Okay, excuse me, cat. Do I have a hammer in the house or am I going out to the garage to get wet? I thought I had a shitty hammer in the house somewhere. Like, it's pretty shitty. Like, there's crappy and then there's this hammer that I found when I moved in. Oh, I don't want to do that. This hammer is so shitty that it's invisible. Okay, I'm going to run out to the garage and grab my hammer. Burr back. It's freaking wet out there right now. It's coming down hard. I wasn't even exposed to it. Well, I was exposed to it, but not for long. And it was enough to get me a good wet head. She's freaking around right where the poster board is. Like, man, that freaking cat. Oh, something new. I think I need to break this because I'm a stupid cat. I think that looks pretty cool over there. Yeah, that works. Right on. And now that leaves this wall entirely open for that. So, <sighs> that'll be the next plan. You know, I wonder. Is there anything on this side that I could accidentally hit? Probably not, because it's all wood. And that board and that wood is sitting right here so theoretically I could go to the garage get some nails and just nail the sea sucker right to the wall and call it <laughs> hey you want to do things ghetto want to live that ghetto life friggin dial 1900 ghetto life call now operators are standing by eh? holy shit that'd be the way to do it <clears throat> would it hold sure why not? That's why I didn't bother looking for studs over here because behind the paneling is that type of wood that's in that closet. It's all just like friggin' pine board or whatever. Because this house was never paneled. Originally, the way this house was done is how the kitchen's done. Over here, this wall here, it's all stucco, right? And behind this stucco is like this board this flat board and you can see a hole down there where felix tried to dig through the wall because he was stupid because that's what cats are they're like hey look something cool let's break it or see if we can because that's what cats do anyway i'm gonna let that burger air fry and then decide if we're just gonna go to we'll probably still go to walmart frigate seven o'clock we'll take a rip over to wally world and see if there's a lineup or not if there is, we'll just come right back home. If not, we'll go in, we'll hit up the hardware section and see if we can score some hardware. Here's hoping we can score some hardware. All right, well, that burger has to be done cooking by now, right? But now? Yeah, I don't hear the air fryer. And it's smoky as freak down here, so. Obviously, I burn and eat the living crap out of my burger. But that's okay. Yay, burger! Yay, pickles! Now that's a mother freaking burger. It's like better than anything McDonald's would serve. All right, guys, it's still pissing rain outside. So I'm thinking there's probably not going to be a lineup at Walmart. As you can see, it's still wet as frig out there. Gonna rock a piss. Slap on <coughs> shoes. Let's go to Walmart and see if we can get some mounting bolts. Bolts? Screws will do. All right, let's pitter-patter. Holy crap, what the heck is that on the tree? It looks like a freaking beaver. Or a nest. It's probably a nest. All right, guys, we're home. And we got the screws as well as other stuff. Need more soap for the bathroom because we got to wash our hands 752 times a day. So that's a thing. If you're wondering why I'm in the garage right now, I want to grab a cordless drill. I don't know if it has any battery life left in it. Probably does. Of course it does. It's a friggin' DeWalt. These things never die. Not with that shitty Mastercraft I had. Well, I just let out a fart of epic proportions. Too bad I didn't have the camera rolling for that one. Anyway, gonna need this. 
And oh! All right, I got a pair, of, a pack of drill bits for Christmas. I don't know if I'm gonna need them, but I'm probably gonna need them. And they're right over here. And they're still wrapped up too. Look at that, eh? Holy, that's awesome. I don't know if I have to poo or what's happening, but let's just get into the house, drop this shit off, and then literally see if we gotta drop some shit off. And then let's uh, go from there. All right, guys. Freaking and there's a cat and a freaking thing up here and there's a dog down there and he's like at the door and like what do you want what do you what do you really want hey you're not going in there all you do is go in there find a spot on the carpet and piss yeah you do because you're a bad kitty you're just a bad kitty you're freaking cute as hell but you're a bad liquid kitty Okay, that's disgusting. I think the dog was licking her head because I went and petted her head and it was like touching a wet sponge. Let's hang that damn whiteboard. I just wanted to go and have a fake beer and take a piss. I'm gonna take a piss now though. Look at this stupid face. I can't get him to sit still for five seconds to try and take a cute video of him. I just can't. It's like you go to say something and it's like, hey, the puppy! And he just starts jumping around like an idiot. Okay, how the hell am I gonna hang that up there? Well, my battle plan is is to rip a hole right through the white wall. Uh, with the white wall, no, right through the whiteboard. Just gonna rip a hole right through it, ish. Rip a hole right through it, ish. Screw the sea sucker into the friggin' wall. Why? It's my house. I can do what I want. Holy crap, this is quite the... I brought this in because it has all the bits on it for screwdrivers and stuff, but obviously I really didn't need that. Look at this freaking thing. Look at this. Wow. I don't even know what the heck these are, but they're there. Jesus Murphy. Well, okay. Guess we got bits and bits and bits and bits. We even got metal bits and we got wood bits. We got brass bits. We got steel bits. We got tungsten bits. We were bits on bits on bits on bits probably hard to see but yes there is a whiteboard there a whiteboard on a white wall um i literally mounted it with six screws pre-drilled the holes stabbed it right in countersunk them we're good we are golden we now has whiteboard sweet okay it doesn't matter for you guys but it matters for me because now i can actually write down my workouts and keep track of what weight i'm pushing so i don't have to remember so i can focus more on the lift and less on paying attention to how much i'm lifting and if i'm lifting lifting less today than the day before because uh, that's what I want to do. And if it gets really bad where it doesn't erase and stuff and it gets all marked up and garbage, whatever. It's just a wall. You can fill holes. It's not that hard. I had to fill a big one upstairs because my uh, bedroom door, it hits the wall because there wasn't one of those little patoing stoppers. You know the kind. Pretty sure you get the point. So filling holes is not a problem. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Like, honestly, I filled all the grooves in this wall to make it look how it looks now. It used to be that I was spanked as a child, friggin' 80s paneling, and we turned it into this by filling in all the grooves. So, if I can do that there, and I did that here too. In fact, there was wallpaper. Not anymore. And this was also the I got spanked as a child, 80s paneling. If I was able to do that with this, then filling in a couple little screw holes will be kind of piece of cake. Anyway, I'm gonna get writing down my workout and go from there. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Should take me 90 minutes to do every day. 10 reps, five sets, all the things on the board. I didn't put squat up there. Son of a bitch. There we go, that's better. Squat and deadlift, legs last. Um, I never do legs last. I usually do the legs after I do my shoulders because I'm already in there, so I figure, figure it, we'll bang them out. And Well, except for the deadlifts, I do that in here through that bar. But I can also do it off the rack. But uh, yeah, that's uh, basically where we're going to sit. And I'll be able to, I'm going to write down my weight when I start my actual workout and see where I'm at. And then we'll make gains as we go. Document them old school style through a really crappy spreadsheet written with a marker and no ruler. Look, you can tell. But anyway, people, I'm going to shut her down here. What time is it? It's only 9.30. I thought it was later than that. Probably because uh, Walmart closed an hour and a half ago, and normally they're open until 11. But uh, I'm going to let my dog out right now. I don't think it's raining, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I just don't know what the hell is going on with me. I'm so farty. Is that a fart or a poop? Oh, I hate playing that game. But anyway, guys, I'm going to try and shut her down. I'm trying to shut her down. Like, I need to try. Just say, hey, guys, it's over, and it's done. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, guys, peace the frig out. 
Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.